March is our annual storytelling festival. This project is supported by a mini grant from the Arts Council of Fayetteville, Cumberland County, in part by contributions from community partners and through grants from the City of Fayetteville, Cumberland County and the North Carolina Arts Council, a division of the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to another preschool story time with the Cumberland County Public Library. My name is Brenna and I will be your storyteller for today. Let's start with a song to say hello to all of our friends. Are you ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, good job. We're gonna sing it one more time. You ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, we are so excited to have you join us here today. And before we begin, we're gonna share a little literacy tip with you. So here at the library, we always encourage you to explore different ways to retell familiar stories. You can use puppets, you can draw the story, or you can just try to recite it from memory. It doesn't matter what you do or whether the story is in the form of a book, a video game, or a movie, okay? but it will help to engage children in storytelling and to build vocabulary and narrative st skills like story structure and reading comprehension. So always make sure to get them retelling those stories. All right, now it's time to get our wiggles out before we settle down for our story. Are you ready? All right, let's go. You know, I was just thinking that there are lots of different ways that we can tell stories. And do you know how else we can tell a story? Through song. And this is a song that I just made up about frogs to the tune of this old man. I'm gonna sing it for you slow, and then we're gonna do some movements. Okay, you ready? This old frog he did pine, he did pine for flies to dine on. With a slap, slap, clappity clap, trying to catch a fly, this old frog came spinning by. All right, now we're gonna do some really simple movements. So we're gonna go, this old frog, he did pine, he did pine for flies to dine on. With a slap, slap, clappity clap, trying to catch a fly, this old frog came spinning by. All right, make sure you add that spin at the end. All right, we're gonna sing it one more time with our movements, you ready? This old frog, he did pine. He did pine for flies to dine on. With a slap, slap, clappity clap, trying to catch a fly, this old frog came spinning by. All right. <laughs> I hope that was a lot of fun for you. It was a lot of fun for me. But that means that it is time for us to settle down and hear our story for this story time. And do you think you know what animal this story is about? That's right, 
it's about a frog. All right, so make sure you listen closely to the story we've yet to hear. The story we have for you today is called The Frog and the Ox. It is one of Aesop's fables, so you might have heard it before, but you have to listen closely, okay? When you hear a frog croak, ribbit, 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 listen well, for he might have a story to tell. I heard a story about a time a long, long time ago when there was a giant pond filled with little, little, little frogs. And then there was one big, big, big frog. And this frog was so big that none of the other frogs had ever seen anyone bigger. But the biggest thing about this frog was his ego. And he thought that since he was bigger than everyone else, that that meant he was better than everyone else too. So he wanted the best food and he wanted to sit on the best lily pad and he wanted everyone to bring him the best smelling flowers and the most prettiest things they had ever seen and the little frogs were scared of the big frog because he was a bully so they just did what he said and pretty soon he seemed like he was king of the frogs. But one day, a visitor came down to their big, big pond, and this visitor was way, way bigger than anything the frogs had ever seen before. And all the little frogs came back from gathering all their things for the big frog and they just kept talking about the big huge creature they had seen and the big frog heard them and he was upset he said oh there can't be anything bigger than me but the little frogs said well it was really, really big. And the big frog said, I'll puff myself up and soon you'll see that no one is bigger or better than me. And he puffed himself up <gasps> really big. And he said, look at me now. I know I'm bigger than that ox. And the little frogs were a little scared, but then one spoke up and said, actually, that ox had big horns and big hooves and a big tail. And he was much, much bigger than you. And that big frog got so upset he said, I'll puff myself up and soon you'll see that no one is bigger or better than me. And he blew himself up <gasps> until he was even bigger. And he said, look at me now. I know I'm bigger than that ox. And the little frogs they were starting to see that that big frog wasn't as big as they thought he was. So they all said that ox had big horns, 
big hooves and a big tail too and he was much much bigger than you and that frog got so angry and he said i'll puff myself up and soon you'll see that no one is bigger or better than me and he went to puff himself up <gasps> <gasps> but before he could breathe one more breath, <gasps> he exploded <gasps> all everywhere. Mm. And it was all because his ego was bigger than his sense. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, guys, I have another song about frogs to share with you guys. And it's a really fun song, and I really love it. It's a classic. It's called mm, I Went the Little Green Frog. All right, I'm going to sing it, and then we're going to sing it together. It just goes, mm, I went the little green frog one day. Mm, I went the little green frog. Mm, I went the little green frog one day and they all went mm, mm, ah. but we all know frogs go la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da we all know frogs go la di da di da they don't go mm, mm, ah. <laughs> all right <laughs> We're gonna sing it again together. You ready? Make sure to stick out those tongs. Mm, ah, went the little green frog one day. Mm, ah, went the little green frog. Mm, ah, went the little green frog one day. And they all went, mm, mm, ah. But we all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da. La di da di da, we all know frogs go. La di da di da, they don't go. Mm mm ah. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that song. <laughs> Earlier, I talked about the importance of retelling stories in different ways, but some people have already gone and done the work for you. So today, I also want to share with you a poem version of the story you heard earlier. This poem comes from the book Fables in Rhyme for Little Folks by Jean de La Fontaine with drawings by John Ray and translated into English by W.T. Larnard. It is called The Frog Who Wished to Be As Big as an Ox. There was a little frog whose home was in a bog and he worried because he wasn't big enough. He sees an ox and cries, that's just about my size. If I stretch myself, say, sister, see me puff. And he blew, blew, blew saying, sister, will this do? And she shook her head, and then he lost his wits, for he stretched and puffed again till he cracked beneath the strain. And then he burst and flew about in little bits. I really like that poem, and you can find that book and other books like it on Project Gutenberg online.